How's it going guys? Leon here and today we are going to be playing The Sims 4. So for this build, I kind of challenged myself and created a tiny house which is all the rage these days. Also, I'm short on time so I could only build a tiny house. But you know, it was super fun. So for this house, I wanted to restrict myself in a 4x10 area. Also, you guys told me to check out some YouTubers that does Sims. And oh boy, they got a lot of cheats that I didn't know and ways to move objects and stuff like that. So yeah, I tried my best to study and use all of those things in this house build. So now I'm just going to give you guys a tour of the tiny house that I have built. Okay guys, so before I say anything, I'm gonna be a little bit honest. I made a little bit of a mistake because this front entrance area is supposed to be facing the road right here. So I thought I was going to be able to rotate the house after I have built it. But unfortunately, if I try to rotate it, a ton of things is gonna go out of place and basically it's gonna ruin my whole house. So yeah, uh, that was my bad. I didn't plan into the future. Which is a bad sign. If you're an architect, you should actually plan into the future. But yeah, dang it, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get on with the house tour. Okay, so from the entrance, we could see this porch right here. So I opted for an elevated tiny home because, you know, burglars are afraid they'll get home alone or something. You know what happened to the burglars in Home Alone? <laughs> So here in the main entrance, we could see I located a porch where people could gather, you know, do a barbecue and stuff like that. And, you know, basically just do porch stuff like watching cars go by or something. I don't know, man. I, we don't really have porches here in the Philippines. Porches are dangerous. That's how you get robbed or hold up. Anyways, here is the main entrance leading to our salas. So I opted for an all glass main entrance and a ton of windows on our living space because mind you this is a tiny home so the purpose of all this glass around the living area is to extend the interior space onto the exterior space so that our tiny home doesn't feel so tiny okay enough of that architectural mumbo jumbo let us go into the interior space of our house okay so upon entering the house we are immediately greeted by our tiny living space right here so right beside our living space is the kitchen area so here is our kitchen i opted for an l-shaped kitchen Okay, so I included a bar or what some people call a nook in this kitchen. So this is a breakfast nook where you could eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, any meal. Basically, I don't know why they call it breakfast nook. It's basically a meal nook or something like that. So right across that, we could see our dining area, which is super tiny. So I designed this house for a bachelor or a bachelorette so they could have lonely dinners or lonely breakfasts here in this area right here. Or if they have friends or any company with them, they could eat it at the breakfast nook. So beside our lonely dining table, we have the stairs, which also doubles as storage area. These aren't actually stairs. These are just cabinets that I moved out of the axis. If I click this, this is just gonna go out of whack like that. So let's not do that. <laughs> okay, so before we go to the loft area right here, I'm going to show you guys the CR and the storage area. So right through this door, we could easily go to the CR. So there you go. That is the toilet and bath situation of this tiny home. Also, I opted for this cool strip lighting right here and this cool wall sconce because I couldn't mount a light on this loft area. Okay, before I talk to you guys about the loft area, let me just show you the storage area right here. So there you go, storage area. Beside the storage area is our mini balcony where our sim could read a book or, you know, look at fireflies or something weird like that. Anyways, let us proceed to the pièce résistance. Basically, the main feature of this tiny home that I built, which is the loft. Sims didn't really have any option to create lofts, but I found somewhat of a loophole. So I created this giant table right here. So if you guys would see, this is just a simplicity dining table right here but i enlarged it so that it will look like a loft so fortunately for me it works out because that aligns with our exterior veranda right here so our veranda has a canopy over it so yay also it is exactly 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps above our main ground floor line. I guess I'm just pretty lucky that it all worked out in my favor. So yeah, that is how I did the loft in this tiny home. So I doubt that our sim would be able to actually climb this cabinet and go to sleep. But you know, this is just for architectural presentation purposes, guys. So let me give you a tour of the loft. So in order to go into the loft, we are going to climb up our cabinet slash stairs. Our stairs is multi-purpose and doubles as storage area in order to save space. Okay, so going up to the loft, we could see our bed right here and our office situation right here. So right beside that table, we have his clothes storage situation. And then across from his bed, some more storage options. So there you go. That is the loft area, guys. And I guess that is it, guys. That is the whole room tour of our tiny house. So a ton of you guys requested on my past video that I do a build from scratch. So here you go guys, I built this tiny home for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing and clicking that notification bell right there. Because if you did, congratulations, you are now a member of the Arky Squad. Hashtag notification squad. Squad. What the hell? Okay, this is probably the fifth outro now. I'm just gonna end it right here. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace. <laughs>